Stout. I'm from Beaver, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Pittsburgh. And I have two whippets. One is Bentley, who's about a year and a half old. And I have another dog named Lexus, who we call Lexi. And she is about four and a half months old. Rescues are great because they need, obviously they need homes. Um, personally, for our lifestyle, I wanted to know the personality I was getting with the dog. I wanted to know that it was going to be healthy because you get so attached to the dog, they become part of your family. And it was so heartbreaking to lose our first two whippets that I just, I wanted to know getting it that I was going to have a good 14 years with the next one. And the health and the temperament of the dog to me were the most important thing. And when you work with a good breeder, um, a good breeder will do health testing of the mother and father dogs to ensure that their their offspring are going to be healthy and that to me was really important. And I just basically wanted to know that I was getting a quality dog. I, it's great to see this many whippets since the area I'm from there's a, maybe a handful of whippets in our area and um, they're few and far between so it's amazing to see that many whippets together for one thing. The other thing is it's amazing to see all the offspring that one breeder has produced and to see everybody come back together and celebrate that. It's sort of like a big family that's joined together and it's a huge support network. I'm Jean Ayers and I have Boo and Blondie. And whippets are generally quiet in, in the home anyway. They, they do need some exercise each day but then once they get that exercise they're very calm dogs and very just like a couch potato laying around the house and, uh, and they're very good, loving, quiet dogs. For Sharon, I found her on the internet. I just started uh, doing some searching and, um, and we liked her philosophy and how they're really in the home and they're really part of her family from the moment they're born until they go home with their family. So we like that philosophy that she had. Also, when you go through a breeder, I guess I think all of them have this, but I know that Sharon does. If anything goes wrong, God forbid anything happens and you have to give your dog up, they can always go back to the breeder. You're not like, oh my gosh, what do I do with this dog? The breeder will always take them back. So you never know what could happen health-wise or financially. It, you know, People have problems that arise and, and just knowing that that safety net was there for our dog. My name is Beverly Crawley. My dog's name is Whisper. In fact, um, the second whippet that I have, Whisper, she actually chose that book for me because I wanted to do freestyle. Freestyle is wonderful because it is something that caters to anyone. It, it embraces everyone. I try to make training fun and she's, you know, she's turned out to be a wonderful, she's the most perfect dog for what I wanted her to do I could ever ask for. What I like about this is my whippets. I like to do a lot of things with my whippets and I love seeing the puppies grow up. I love the we're like a big family. I mean, we have a support group, you know, we have a, if somebody has a problem, they kind of throw it out and everybody puts ideas and stuff like that to it. And it, it's really nice. So um, that's something that you can't always get.